Diolch am y mynd o ni yng Nghanadledd Cenedlaethol Seren, dwi'n fel ag unrhyw gwyth, ewch yn bellach. Thank you for joining us in the Seren National Conference 2018, Above and Beyond, dyma sesiwn. This is session. Astudio yn yr Unol Daleithiau America, studying in the US. Okay. Um, Fulbright is a, a charity and we help uh, students from around the UK figure out how to apply and study at US universities either at an undergraduate level or a postgraduate level or in terms of short-term study as well. Um, so that's what we do um, and I'm super excited to come and talk about a particular programme we run um, to you today. Um, it's called the Sutton Trust US programme. You may be familiar with the Sutton Trust more generally in the UK summer schools um, that they run um, but we run the US programme for them um, and so I will tell you a little bit about this opportunity for your year 12 students. Um, so the Sutton Trust US programme has been going for six years. Um, last year we were so delighted to have 16 students from Wales on the programme. Um, it's for really high achieving students who are in year 12 um, who are interested in exploring US study um, and the, they come from low income families so that's, that's one of the things that we look for. Um, and what we do is over the course of an 18 month programme um, in the spring of year 12 we will spend time exploring US study, we'll have a number of UK based residentials um, before we all jump on a flight, head over to the US um, and spend some time visiting US universities, living in dorms um, and experiencing campus life. Um, when they come back for year 13, those that we would like to, we will support them in applying to US universities for their undergraduate degree alongside the UCAS process um, and we will be aiming that they will get the funding that they need to be able to make their US study dreams happen. Um, so this is just a quick overview. So year 12, so we're open for applications at the moment. Um, for the students that selected into the programme, um, they will go through this process um, summer, very exciting for a lot of the students, a highlight of the programme is going to the US um, and then through that year 13 process of applying. Um, so through the programme over the last um, six years, um, we've helped more than 300 students get to the US um, to study a full undergraduate degree um, and to do that with the funding that they need. Um, on average, last year's cohort, um, their funding packages from the US University um, that they're attending were, were worth $276,000, um, which means more than a quarter million dollars. So sometimes I'll say to students, are you behaving like a quarter of a million dollars right now because this is the kind of money that we're playing for. Um, this will be uh, meaning that most of them will be graduating, if not debt free, with very small um, student, loan, student loan contributions um, after graduation. And on top of that, what we also know is that going through the programme builds their confidence, builds their independence. Um, we know that those students, some of them choose to stay in the UK, some choose to go to the US. But the ones that go to the UK, um, they are six and a half times more likely um, than their peer group um, to apply to top UK universities um, after going through the programme. Um, so we're super proud of them um, and that's kind of the, the direction we, in which we go. Um, and just so you know, these are some of the students who have been through the programme, these are the kinds of universities they're going to, um, they are high achieving students um, winning uh, places at some of the, uh, the, U the US's top institutions. Um, so, and they're coming from across Wales. Um, so just so you know, you might be asking, how can I um, find out more about this? Applications are currently open right now. Um, they close on the 20th of January. The application form is quite long and does require some thinking. So if you've got a student who's interested, please let them know this side of Christmas um, about it. Um, and students can apply online. It's us.suttontrust.com. Um, or if you just Google Sutton, US, Sutton Trust US program, you'll find the website. Um, these are cohort six, so this last, uh, cohort seven, sorry, this last year, um, these are the students who, um, from Wales who have gone through the programme um, and we were so delighted to have them there. A couple of photos from being in the US uh, this summer. Um, we also do fun things like going to baseball games and um, going to Central Park and things like that. Um, and we also, we, I just want to put this up. Um, just to talk about our selection criteria. So we are looking for low-income students. That's part of our funding um, from the Sutton Trust for this program. Um, students should have, should have always been at a state school um, for their education career. Um, and we will look and, and positively look for students who are the first in their family to go to university um, or students who have 
um, things like caring responsibilities or other situations like that, um, we are very keen to hear from them. Um, so yeah, just to put that opportunity out there, we are really keen to see some great um, <coughs> applications from Wales this year. Um, and oh, I should say all of the cost of this programme is covered by the programme. So the cost of getting to UK residentials, accommodation, food, getting to the US, the time in the US, all of that is covered. Um, and then we also go through the test preparation that a student would need. Um, we pay for all of that as well. Um, so we really are trying to make sure that no student has um, any financial worries about joining the programme. Um, so if a student gets onto the programme, it is completely free uh, for them and their family. A um, couple of students who, from Wales who have gone through the programme and who are currently right now um, awaiting decisions um, from their US university. So this is Ellie um, who was here yesterday um, and talking about her experience. And then we also have Tom who is also waiting for his decision. Um, super exciting for them. Um, and since I haven't got loads of time, I'm just going to jump straight on. Um, how many people wish they were in year 12 and could go and take something like this up. Uh, yep. um, I have news. Um, this is something that we haven't talked about outside the Fulbright office. Um, this is, you are the first people in the UK to be hearing about this. Um, we are introducing a Fulbright award next year for teachers to go to the US. Um, so, Fulbright Distinguished Awards in Teaching. They are so new, they're not even on our website yet, but I just wanted to put it out here in case anyone was interested and wanted to come and ask more. Um, it will be going to the US for a semester. Um, it's for teachers or other education professionals who are 50 spend more than 50% of their time in front of students. Um, so things like libra librarians or careers advisors count too. Um, it is the opportunity to go to the US um, perhaps co-teach in an American classroom with an American teacher, um, undertake uh, professional development at a US university um, and uh, um, kind of increase your professional development and then come back and share what you've learned back here in the UK. Um, so it's pretty cool, it's pretty amazing. Um, please come and talk to me, I haven't got loads of time to talk about it, but please come and talk to me um, more. Um, so we'll be looking for three teachers initially from around the UK. Um, if this sounds something that you would be interested in, please come and talk to me. And um, the costs will be covered by the Fulbright Award. Um, so you, when it goes up on our website, you'll be able to find out more about it on fulbright.org.uk. And we will be keen to pass through the Seren Network more information about it to you all as well. Um, so Advancing Access is basically the Russell Group's CPD teacher outreach initiative. We haven't been going for very long. Uh, pilot launched 2016 and then the full launch uh, in 2017. Uh, but it is a project funded by leading universities and the aim of the game is to work with teachers as opposed to young people. We have a widening participation focus so that means the focus on the project is partly about trying to narrow the gap in access to university by disadvantaged students as opposed to more advantaged students. Universities are spending hundreds of thousands or millions of pounds on this widening participation outreach work. Most of it is targeted at the young people themselves uh, but what we do is targeted at teachers and we hope that as a result of our CPD interventions we're able to put teachers and careers advisors in the strongest possible position so that they're able to support their students to be aspirational and make high quality applications to selective uh, universities and some of the most competitive courses. We're a mainly online project, so we are able to transcend uh, geographical boundaries uh, by doing our work uh, mainly online. We do come out and do stuff on the ground as well. I think uh, where we are today is a good example of a more remote uh, location, which can be harder for some university widening participation teams to reach. So that's why it's important that we're able to do things online so that we can access every corner of the UK. These are our Russell Group University partners who fund the project. So the Russell Group Universities tend to be quite selective. The entry requirements are quite high. They're very research intensive universities as well. Uh, that's not to say that the support and the advice we provide isn't useful for other students who are considering a wide range of different higher education outcomes. Also, there are many uh, competitive and research intensive and selective uh, institutions in the UK who for one reason or another don't happen to be part of this group. So that is worth pointing out as well. So in terms of what's available on our website, we've got three main things. So the website is completely free. We do ask that you register an account just so that we can track who's using the project for evaluation purposes. We've got a
of teacher CPD resources, and I'll show you some screenshots of those later. Uh, we do online events, so they're not dis that's not dissimilar to the event that you're at today, but it's online, so we have a virtual exhibition hall. Instead of sessions like this, we have webinars which our university partners deliver, and you can take part in by joining in and asking questions. We've also got a large collection of about 60 video case studies. I'm going to show you one of them, a short one of those, very briefly in a moment. Um, how can you get involved? So please use the resources yourself in school or college that are on our website. Speak to us. We intend this to be a dialogue uh, with teachers. We want to hear what you would find useful, what there's a gap there at the moment. Is there something that's not provided that you would like to see us do? Come along to our events and tip us off uh, about good practice. If there's something that you think especially effective is going on in your school or college, please tip us off about it so that we can disseminate that good practice with our other partner schools. Right, the next slide is a short one of our video case studies. It didn't work yesterday, so fingers crossed it's going to work today. This is Sean. I'm Sean. I'm 18 years old. I study social work at the University of Birmingham. School life was, it was good. You miss it when you grow up, obviously. I'm not quite grown up yet, but school life was good. I still have my favourite teacher. She was the best teacher ever, she was lovely. She believed in me, for one. She had the biggest impact on me. It was really important for me to have someone having that faith. I did well, I think I got 15 GCSEs in total and I had to work hard for it, it wasn't easy. When I was choosing my options, I was quite lucky in the sense that I didn't get misguided by my friends. I didn't think, oh, I'll do this because my friends are doing it. My advice for picking your options is take them seriously. Pick something because you think you can do it, you think you can enjoy it. Don't let yourself down, do it for you. So I applied for my school sixth form. That was the next step for me, it was going to sixth form. I originally chose three A-levels, one B-tech. I've always been that social person. I always knew that I would work with people in some aspect. Social work was decided for me when I read a book and that book basically told the story of a young boy. It's all about his social worker and what she did and the difference she made. I knew then definitely that was for me and someday I'll be out making that difference then. Results day came and I opened it and me and one of my really close friends just burst into tears because we'd both got the grades. University's always been the right place for me. Even before I got here I knew that. It's exciting, it's something different every day. And you actually want to learn it, you want to be there and because of that it makes it so much easier. Getting up in the morning and learning something new every day that you actually want to learn is a really good feeling. Okay, so there's about 60 of those on the website, so please uh, show them to your students in school. They're quite good for year 12 form time, for example. The other resources we have online, we have detailed uh, guidebooks on subjects uh, such as university admissions. Uh, we've got more quick reference guide sheets, top tips for personal statements, academic reference writing, guide around university league tables, extra admissions tests, that sort of thing. Uh, there are resources on there that you can use with students, for example, to help them make choices about uh, universities and courses. There are also resources you can use for self-directed or staff peer-to-peer -peer CPD, PowerPoint presentations, uh, notes and worksheets. These are some screenshots of our online events. So this is our virtual conference where there's a stall for all the 24 Rusk Group universities. You can ask them questions and download resources. Uh, there's also webinars uh, where you can get involved and ask questions to our university partners on topics like personal statements, applications, references, that sort of thing. Right, I'm going to finish because I'm running out of time. Please contact us uh, if you want to get in touch. We've got some leaflets here and we've got a stall downstairs where you can speak to us as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. And as I said, these guys are doing a whistle-stop whistle tour. Now, we've got Mitchell next from Unifrog, and I am not going to cut you short. What I'm going to suggest, because we will literally have about two minutes left at the end, is that um, you're here on stalls, you're available. Take the opportunity to go and visit the, the guys on the stalls, because I want to give Mitchell his full due. I cut him short by three minutes yesterday, by mistake. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to sound really Bristolian on this, uh, so bear with me. But I am Mitch and I'm from Unifrog. I'm hoping a uh, majority of you have heard of us previously, but I know that there's some existing partners in the room as well, which is fantastic. Uh, but essentially, what we are is a destinations platform. So something that a school or a college would buy into generally, all the way from year seven through to year 13. The whole point of it is for us to explore destinations find the opportunities and go through that journey with the students and staff as well. So, we work with just under 1,500 schools worldwide at the minute. So, 300 of those are international. 
Um, but I guess the main focus for us is just essentially helping students in what seems to be a changing environment now with more and more options than ever. So things like political changes, social changes, uh, technological changes, it's all so fast paced that it becomes really difficult to sort of keep track with. So there's almost 65,000 undergrad courses available, about 30,000 uh, apprenticeships are advertised every month. So that's new apprenticeships and their choice is just really, really broad now. So employers are looking for like spe specific skills because they need to start setting them aside. That's exactly what our platform is really aiming to do. So the way in which we do so is set out in four main pillars. So first off is the pathway, so research. We're giving tools there, which I'll go into in more depth. Then they're actually searching from the opportunities. So some really comprehensive databases, pulling everything into one place. Application side is where they start to build up towards that. So all the way through their journey with school. So from year seven onwards, um, we're looking at skill set, we're looking at activities. Then they're actually building those applications ready to go. And then finally, from your side, from a staff side, you're able to have an overview. You're able to see a broad picture of it, see specific how people are uh, reporting and that side as well. So you can really drill down into it. So first part is the research element. So it's really difficult for them to explore a broad range of these careers. Um, but what we've done is build a careers library. So just, uh, just almost at a thousand careers. Um, so it's guides in there with real world information as well as labor, labor market information. Um, that's really difficult for them to find on Google, just opinions on, on that side. So that's exactly why we want to go out and do interviews with people within a career or within a subject as well. So subject library is fantastic for the ones that are really looking to set themselves aside. So if they want, what we've put wider reading sources in there, we've put some things that they can go away and do, like group or individual work, um, some skill set they really need to demonstrate for certain subjects, and of course those interviews with those students within it as well. The know-how libraries are very broad scale, so uh, information for them to be able to actually go in and explore various different avenues. So whether that be international questions which they've got, things like um, access to Danish universities or uh, worldwide opportunities, which can be really niche, really difficult questions when you get asked them if it's not a common thing. So it's exactly why we've put a know-how library together. So thousands of guides in there for them to help with. And then finally, a MOOC tool. Um, I guess the whole point of this is going above and beyond them setting themselves aside. That is really growing in popularity on Unifrog at the minute. So uh, massive open online courses, free courses, um, no, no fees at all from around the world for them to start really either dipping their toes in a certain subject or actually just being able to demonstrate that passion. So it's one thing which we're really encouraging students to do at the minute. So the next part is actually where we began. So how do we find from over 36,500 UK uh, courses on UCAS, how do we drill that down quickly? So by what's important to students. That search tool is what made us so popular. Um, there's filters and ranks on there, which I can demonstrate if you wanted to come and see me, which make it so much easier to find the, the right course for them. Same with apprenticeships. So I came from an apprenticeship myself. If this tool was there, it would have saved me weeks on end um, of actually searching for it. So, so difficult to go through various different websites. This pulls it, it's the most comprehensive database in the UK and it's pulled from the national database in England as well as Careers Wells, and we uh, actually go up and approach uh, independent employers and drag it through. So it's really, really good place for them to start looking at degree level or higher level apprenticeships as well. Uh, you can also see some international opportunities searching all across the world. Uh, we've got a couple of new ones from East Asia and Australia coming very soon. Just uh, from some analytics, some stats that we've pulled from our system, we can see, uh, we separate things on our search tools uh, for UK Uni into an aspirational, a solid, and a safe choice. Trying to say to them, back yourself up from your predicted grades, just in case. You can see that they are doing less of that currently, so they're becoming more aspirational than ever, more confident than ever. Um, so they're going for those real big opportunities. That's obviously a really good thing, but also what that comes back with is us saying, we really need to spread that out, have a fallback plan with it, have a plan B. So it's exactly what Unifrog's trying to encourage them to do, explore multiple avenues. Also, unconditional offers might be uh, have an effect on that, but pff, I'm not gonna start that. Um, so the final thing that they can do on a student side is actually go in and build these applications. 
So help with personal statements, CV builder, making it really quick and easy, interactive. They can get feedback from yourselves. Same with activities and competencies. This is why we say start it young. Speaking in the star format for competencies. From my point of view, uh, any interview I've ever been to, they've asked for a star basic, so situation task, action result, uh, format of an answer. So all competency-based interviews really do look for that now, especially the likes of uh, civil service, Babcock, Capita, big employers. So uh, alongside with that as well, they've got a locker, which is like a media vault, where they can start to really build out themselves, build a portfolio. The nice thing is when they leave the school, as long as they're happy for us to keep their data, they keep their Unifrog account. So it's not just them building up to then lose it all. They can continue using that and access it if they take a gap year, for example. So on a teacher side then, what can you actually do? Essentially, you can have visibility of absolutely everything that they're doing within the platform. So you're constantly getting a reminder of the research they're doing. You're able to access certain groups and start to build characteristics to say, OK, so this group's looking towards this. Let's report on it. That's a really important part. You can just download everything from the system, and it's there. If you had Estin come in, and they wanted a report on careers provision, or they wanted just to see what you've been doing, it's exactly what you'll be able to start inserting in there. So it's also just seeing things at a glance. And one really big thing as well is writing references. So we've got some partners in here today um, which use us for their reference system. So um, it saves a huge amount of time. I hope you vouch for that if you are in the room. Um, but essentially, it's just building an overall reference with one click of a button. And the subject references all go through there. And it just compiles it very quick, very easy. So it could be a really good system for you to adopt as well. But essentially, it's all about talking between you and the students. It's interactive. It's all online. They use it on their phones mostly. That's the majority of our usage. And that's the important aspect to it. So some of the main things that we're really covering on this, uh, it is sort of pieced out there. I won't go through it just because of time. But essentially, it's just being able to start comparing things like Oxbridge, put the two colleges next to each other. I see I'm stood next to Cambridge. It's busy. So they're all flooding there. Um, asking these questions, how do I get in? It's exactly what we're giving them guidance on and saying, okay, when you're making that one choice, there's a tool to put them side by side with every course on there and drill it down by important things to you. Finally, just a, a very cheesy quote from one of our existing partners, just to say how amazing we are, I guess. Um, but if there's any questions, if there's anything you wanted me to demonstrate, go through properly. I'm situated over in the, in the corner of one of the halls, so please do come find me and I'll be happy to go through it.